All right, so can you see that mirror over there? When you look at a mirror, what can you see? Well, you can see yourself. And my question is, do you think about yourself more or do you look outward and think about the needs of others more? Well, today we're looking at Philippians chapter 2 verses 1 to 11. And we're going to think a bit more about what it means to love others more than ourselves. And we're going to learn about a great example of someone who did this perfectly. Well, this is quite hard to focus on the needs of others above ourselves. And that was precisely true for the Philippians too. And I'm thinking that's why Paul wrote this letter to the Philippians and why it's in the Bible for us to read as well and learn from. Well, just like us, the Philippians needed to learn how to love others more and look out for others more than themselves. They would have found it hard too. And in the beginning of the letter, we can see an example of this. In Philippians chapter 1, verse 17, we learn about some Philippians who are preaching, but they're doing it with the wrong heart. They're doing it in order to advance their own interests instead of looking out for the interests of others. And you see, we can do that too in all sorts of ways. But here's an example. So, say your family only has one Nintendo Switch and you and your sibling both want to use it. You both want to play a game on it. And say you're the older sibling and, and you decide to take it and play the game. Well, is that putting your sibling's needs above your, yours? No, it's not. Instead, you could say, why don't you have a turn? And that's putting that sibling above your needs. Well, in F Philippians 2 verse 3, it says, When you do things, do not let selfishness or pride be your guide. Be humble and give more honour to others than yourselves. Well, let's learn about the greatest example. The person who did that perfectly, who loved others perfectly. His name is Jesus. Jesus is God. He is the creator of the whole world. He is the king of kings. But what did he do? Well, Jesus, in verse 7, let's read what it says, he gave up his place with God and made himself nothing. He was born to be a man and became like a servant. The King of Kings, Jesus, did the opposite of what most of us do. He left the perfection of heaven and was born in a smelly manger with a bunch of animals. He came knowing that he was going to die on the cross. But why did he do this? Well, he did this because he loves you and he loves me so, so much that he was willing to leave his perfect home in heaven in order to come to this world, this unperfect world, in order to save you and me from death and sin by dying on the cross. This is amazing. I mean, imagine a queen coming, leaving everything that she owns, leaving her family, leaving everything. She's up here and coming down 
to serve you or me. That would be incredible. But the thing is, Jesus is so much more important than the queen or a president or the prime minister. He is the king of kings. And he did that. He deserved to be on the top, but he came down to the lowest place to be, and he was humble. Well, what does all of this mean for us? Well, we need to die to ourselves. We need to die to all those bad things that we think and say and do. And we need to stop focusing on ourselves. And we need to put the needs of others first. We need to stop looking at the mirror and thinking about our own needs and instead look outward and think about what about your needs? How can I help you? How can I serve you today? We need to follow Jesus' example, his perfect example. Humility means being ready to serve others even when it costs us. So maybe it's the wrong time, maybe it's an inconvenient time, but you can still help. For instance, maybe your friend is having a hard day. Well, you could listen to them and you could encourage them. Or maybe your mum is feeling really stressed out. Maybe you could offer to help with the dishes. Or maybe someone's moving and you could lend a hand and help them. You could help bring things up to their new room. Maybe that's harder to do now that it's we're in lockdown, but when lockdown's over at some point, you could do that. And I'm sure you can think of other ways too that you can serve, serve your friends, your family, and your friends at church. Well, I'm now going to pray because this isn't easy, is it? It's not always easy to put others before ourselves. So I'm going to ask God to help us in this. Dear God, thank you so much for today. Thank you for your word. Thank you that it's living and active. And I do pray that you would help us to be like Jesus. I thank you that Jesus left his heavenly home in order to come to this world, in order to save us. He gave up everything for us in order to be a servant, in order to die on the cross, in order to save us from sin and death. And I do pray that you would help us to die to our sinful self and you would help us to love others and put others before ourselves. In your name, amen. Bye. Hope you have a good rest of your Sunday.